All right, starting 3.3, .3, problem solving with combinations. Okay, so the number of subsets of a set. Okay, um, I'll like explain the whole formula for you because we'll go through an example. So it's n choose 0 plus n choose 1 plus 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 n choose n. Okay, so we start with zero options and work our way over to the total number of options. Um, we, this is the total number of subsets of a set, and um, we're doing addition here to add them all together. Okay, uh, there's something called a null set. It's a set with no elements, null being nothing, none. Um, so a null set is a, a null set is a set with no elements. We will go through that option. Um, if the null set is excluded from the tally, the total number of subsets will be two n minus one. So there's there's actually two formulas to calculate. Um, the number of subsets in a set. So the first one is this one here, n choose zero, n choose one, plus n choose two, all the way to n choose n. And then we have a second one here, which is two to the power n minus one. I'll show you how both of them work. Okay, so let's get to this. So the cafeteria, the cafeteria offers fried salad, potatoes, and rice as sides. How many different combinations of sides can be made for lunch? We could have one side up to four. Okay, so we have the option. We have the option of having one side, two, three, or four. Okay, so we have four options for sides, and we could choose one of them. Okay, plus, or, or so plus, or, we could have two sides. So we have or choose two. So we could choose one side, or we could choose two sides, or we could choose three or four. So four choose three, plus four choose four. So when we are ordering something from the cafeteria, obviously we can't do that now, um, we could have one, one side, two sides, three, or four, okay? So when we figure this all out, we add them together, so four choose one is four, I do that one. Four choose two, six. Four choose three is four. And four choose four is one. So we add them all, all together, so we have 10, we have 15 um, different combinations of size. of sides. Okay, so you'll notice that in the formula we didn't have the n choose 0. So if you we went up above, it was the first one was n choose 0. Well, it tells us that we, we, can't, we have to have at least one side. Okay, so we didn't say anything about zero sides. So we, I didn't put the n choose 0 in there. So this n choose 0, n choose 1, n choose 2, n choose 3, and then n choose n. Okay, so I didn't do the 0 because it says I have to have 1 to 4 sides. Okay? So what that means is there, we are removing the null set. So we're taking out the set with no elements. So in this case, it's the set that doesn't have any sides. That's not an option, so we remove it. So the other option we have here for the formula is two to the power of n. In this case, it's our number of sides, which is four, subtract one. So two to the power of four, two, four, eight, 16, subtract one, is 15. Okay, so this one is obviously a much quicker formula to use and we remove the zero. Um, so you can use this one, which is using all the combinations, or we could just use two to the power n minus one. Game of Hearts. In a Game of Hearts, the entire deck of cards is dealt. You have 13 cards. In how many ways could the hand contain five clubs and five spades? Okay, 
So we're doing the number of ways. Number of ways. So how number of ways represents n, right? So the number of ways that we have five clubs and five spades. So n, so I'm just gonna say clubs times the number of spades. We have the end here. So it's gonna represent multiplication. Okay, so for A, how many ways could we have for five clubs in our hand? Okay, so well, we have 13 clubs in a deck. So 13 clubs, and we want to have five of them. So we're doing 13, choose five. Okay, so 13 clubs, and we want to choose five of them. Okay, multiply. Now we want five spades. So there's 13 spades as well, and we want five of them. Is it, where's the my formula for now? So we have 13 choose five for the clubs and 13 choose five for the spades, okay? But this gives us a total of 10 cards. So five clubs and five spades gives us 10 cards. In the question, in the game hearts, we get 13 cards. Okay, I don't know if anyone knows what the game hearts is. It's on the computer. Uh, usually most computers come with it, hearts and solitaire is in Minesweeper. So you play against a computer, four players in total, and each person gets 13 cards. And the idea is to get rid of all your hearts. Okay, if you, if you were to collect hearts, you um, gain points, but gaining points is not a good thing. Okay, so we want to know our hand. So we have 13 clubs, 13 spades, and now we still need to finish the hand off because we need another three, okay? Because it says we have 13 cards in our hands, but right now we only have 10. So after we choose five of the clubs and fives in the spades, well, we need three more. We need three more cards. And those three cards are gonna come from the remaining amount. So if we took out the clubs and spades, we then just have hearts and diamonds left. So we have 26 in total. So 13 clubs, sorry, 13 diamonds and 13 hearts. So we want, which is 26, and we're choosing three of those. So 13 choose five. So 1287 times 1287. Double checking my calculations. Yeah. Okay, that was for A. Okay, let's go B now. B says, so how many ways can we have di three diamonds? So, number of ways again. So, what the number of diamonds? So, out of our 13 cards, we want three of them to be diamonds. So, we have 13 diamonds and we're choosing three of them. Then we have to fill up our card with another 10 cards. Sorry, fill up our hand with another 10 cards to make our 13 cards in our hand. Okay, so the other 10 have to come from the remaining club spades and hearts. So that leaves us with 39 more cards. Excuse me, and we're choosing 10 of them. 13 choose three times 39 choose 10. Okay, this is going to write to the answer 1.8 times 10 to the power of 11. Okay, there's a billion different ways that I, have, I could have three diamonds in my hand. Okay, next one. Five clubs or spades. So five clubs or spades. 
Okay, so we have the or here, so that reps, represents addition. Remember the and was multiplication. So what we're gonna do first is find the probability that we could have five clubs in our hands and then add it to the chance that we could have five spades in our hands. So to have five, cl five clubs would be 13 choose five multiplied. We don't want five clubs and spades, just five clubs. Okay, and that means we have to get another eight cards from the remaining amount. So 39 cards remain, and we need eight of them. So 13 choose five times 39 choose eight. Some ridiculously large number. So 7.9 times 10 to the power of 10. choose 5 times 39 okay so then we're going to add it to having 5 spades which would be the exact same number as the 5 clubs and 5 spades still 13 choose 5 but I'll write it again, so plus 13 choose 5 times 39 choose 8. So 7.9 times 10 to the power of 10, or I just multiply it by 2. So you end up getting 1.6 times 10 to the power of 11. Okay, so that is A, B, and C. Okay, I'm going to erase that and get to D now. D says at least two hearts. Okay, so we got to pay attention. To You're going to see these a lot um, more frequently when it says at least. So to have at least two hearts means that I can have two hearts in my hand, three hearts, four hearts, five, Six, let me get this guy. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I can have two hearts all the way up to 13 hearts. Okay, which is, would be a lot of steps. So I can have two or three or four or five all the way to 13. So I'd be adding all the different combinations. So there's a long way to answer this and a shorter way to answer this. The long way is to actually calculate two hearts, three hearts, four hearts, five hearts, six hearts, all the way to 13. That would take a lot of work. So what we're gonna do instead is cal calculate the total number of options we have for our hand and then subtract zero hearts and one hearts. Because if I subtract zero and one from the total, then I can find out from what the remaining amount would be two to 13. So, for D, we're going to do the total, subtract zero hearts, subtract one heart. Okay? Because if I get the total and subtract two, these two, the remaining would be all the ways I could have two hearts all the way up to 13. Okay, so how? what's the total number of ways I could have in my card? Oh, sorry. Total number of ways I have cards in my hand. Well, there's 52 cards in total, and in your hand you get 13. Okay, so out of the 52 cards, we could have any 13 cards. So it's 52 choose 13. Now we're going to subtract how many hearts will have how many uh, hands will have zero hearts. Well, if there are 13 hearts and we don't want any of them, so it's 13 choose zero. Okay, we don't want any of the hearts. So 0 out of 13 times it by the remaining amount, which is 39. So 39 cards remain. And we're going to choose 13 of those ones. Okay, so 0 of the hearts, but 13 from the other three suits. Clubs, diamonds, and spades. Okay, so 0 hearts is here. Now we're going to subtract 1 heart. 
Okay, subtract one heart now. So out of the 13 hearts, we want one of them. So 13 choosing one times the by 39 choose 12. So for the remaining 39 hearts, we're gonna choose 12 of those. So let's do this. 52 choose 13. So a very long, large number. So I'm just gonna do this all in one step. Subtract. Thirteen choose zero is just one, by the way. Thirty-nine choose three. Subtract. Okay, I get five point eight times ten to the power of eleven. So let me try this again. Five point seven six times ten to the power of eleven. So I run into five point eight. Okay. So if you have a question that says at least, just check to see which way would be would be faster. Because if it said like at least ten hearts, then you could have 10, 11, 12 hearts. So that'd be easy to do those three. If it says it says at least two hearts in our hand, that means we have to get two, three, four, five, or six, or seven, or seven, all the way up to thirteen. There are many different steps we could take to do from two all the way to 13. So to do it a quicker way is we take the total, subtract how many ways for zero hearts and one hearts, and then we will, this would be represent the number of ways for two or more hearts. Okay, uh, I believe there's one more question. Next question. Mr. McKenzie has 12 females and 7 males in his class. He needs, I think that's actually, no, we have 13 females. 12 females and 7 males in his class. I need to make a seating plan for the first row. So he wants 6 females and 4 males to sit in the front row. How many ways can he arrange the seating in the front row? Okay, so we're having, so first let's see how many ways we can arrange the males and females. Okay, so we have 12 females and we want to choose, so 12 we're choosing 6, so 12 choose 6. Then it's an end, so we're multiplying, so multiplying by 7 males choose 4. So 7 males and we're choosing 4. Okay, so that's if I just wanted to choose six females and four males. But I want to do more than just choose those. I want to then put them into a row, okay? So we have this and now we want to put them in the front row, the keyword row here. So I'm gonna have them, I'm gonna choose them first. I'm gonna pick my six females and my four males. So this is how to find how many ways I can do that. But then I want to sit them in a row. Okay, so this is going to be a row of 10. Does that have six females and four males? A row of 10. So how many can, after I choose them, I can then rearrange them in any way I want to. So then I multiply this by 10 factorial. Okay, so that means we, this is the number of ways we could choose females. This is the number of ways to choose males. So we have six females, four males now. And now I want to sit them down in a row. So then I multiply by 10 factorial. So 12 choose 6 times 7 choose 4 times 10 factorial. And 
carrying on to a really large number again, 1.2 times 10 to the power of 11. Then I'm just going to check my calculations. I always do that with these types of questions. Yeah. Okay, so that ends the lesson for 3.3. I didn't put the homework questions, but I have them in front of me. Page 120, numbers 1 to 8, 10, 11 AD, and 12. So page 120, 1 to 8, 10, 11 AD, and 12. Okay, hope everyone does well. I will see you guys later.